Morning, everybody. Grab a cup of coffee and a donut or three, and let's do some switching. Morning, everybody. Welcome to part seven of seven. Let's wrap this up. Norfolk Southern train going through town, so if I, if I hear him blow, I'll stop talking for a second. We might have already missed the horns. It is hot and humid. So what we have to do today is switch the general chemical spur and drop off the car at the team track. There he goes, he's northbound, so that'd be the last uh, horn we hear. First thing we have to do is pull the tank car from General Chemicals and we'll attach it to the cars that we left in Chillicothe from uh, wherever in Union Spring. I'm narrating this Saturday, August 6th. I uh, won't publish it till August 13th. We've had uh, storms rumbling through today. And right now there's one south of us. I think it's going to miss us, but you might hear some thunder in the background. So like I said, we pulled back across Douglas Avenue and then we'll push the tank car uh, down the passing side and connect to the empty gondola from Union Spring.
can probably hear the pond in the background. Thankfully, with all the recent rains, we haven't had to add a lot of water to it. Sometimes on, like, it's really hot dry spells, we can add about five gallons of water to it a day. And it's not leaking, it just evaporates. Plants in the garden railroad have really taken off. I'll have to show you a picture of them sometime. While well, they're still looking good before the weather turns cold. All right, so now we're pushing down the spur. We have the General Chemicals covered hopper and a tank car to spot. Now we're just going to ease forward and uh, spot the bulkhead flat at the team track. I think we have a southbound North Fork Southern train coming. All right, now we just have to put the train together and head back to the yard. pick up the cars on the passing track and that covered hopper is or, sorry tank car was empty and it wasn't carrying any hazardous waste anyhow it was a uh, clay based product so it's okay to have it next to the locomotive Not always the case in General Chemical. Sometimes they get some different stuff. They make different products. Have to run through the crossovers and then back up to pick uh, up the rest of the train that we left sitting on the main when we got back from Oak Hill.
His mirror must have got impatient. He notched it up here. All right, let's head back to the yard. So those of you who watched my van out tour, you know, I talked about a change in operations. This is actually the last of the Chilcothy Oak Hill combined operations uh, for a little while anyhow. We're gonna see what it's like to just operate them independently as I designed them. So the next operation you see which hopefully will be, what, uh, Sunday the 14th, <laughs> will be an Oak Hill only train. Now, I may film it running through Chillicothe, but uh, it's not going to be doing any work in Chillicothe. And hopefully it will have, like, six, seven cars instead of just three. That's the goal of this. Everybody stay safe, have a good Sunday, and a good weekend.